Hey guys, how's it all going and welcome back. Thanks for watching. Guys, again, if you like the vids, show the like. Share the vids, guys, please. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. So, clearly, because you clicked on here, it said Angel Vid. This one is on Archangel Jerudio. I'm going to be chatting a bit about his characteristics, um, a little bit about him, his presence, uh, and how to get in touch with him. So, firstly, uh, before we get into his characteristics, you are, if you want to get in touch with him, you're going to need to have an obviously an initial invocation with him before any invocation uh, know the emotion you most desire to feel in this entity's presence okay get yourself grounded nice calm and relaxed um, for this one Jehudio because he's actually pretty different to most of your other archangels he, yes he, he's extremely powerful uh, I, and I truly think he's like awesome in his, in his diversity he actually comes with a very dark energy now, I don't think that's contradictory to anything I've said before or contradictory of my knowledge on these things. His energy is very dark. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. He's very much an archangel. He's very much powerful. Okay. Um, so, yeah, get yourself grounded. Get in, into invocation. Uh, feel uh, like a sense of desire and welcoming if you can you know, hone in on those emotions. So you're going to need two candles for entity, uh, one black, one white. I've been asked before, yes, you can multiply them, but keep them the same then. So one black, one white. Scribe his name on both, embalm with olive oil. If you want to, you can go as far as adorning it with um, dried herbs as well. That's fine. I do encourage you, though, to bind these two candles in the black twine or black string. Uh, or if you if you can get your hands on it, then black. I'm sorry, copper wire as well is very effective. You are going to need uh, an A4 page or a parchment page, depending where you are in the world, what you call it. On top will be his incantation, which is Baratus Guth Mangun Archangel Jehudiel, and that'll be called out and canted quite a few times until you feel a certain vibration, and then your invocation continues. Uh, on the same page clear hand drawn sigil of the archangel it's a simple one um, and again you around there you can go as um, crazy and flamboyant as you want with picture frames and uh, materials that's fine but I'm talking the your like initial stuff you guys need which is your written petition remember any and all invocations are based on the, the written word the spoken word and the thought and seeing word. You've got to activate all three to get the message and signal out there. Underneath your incantation and around your sigil will be words of introduction, welcoming, and by all means ask an entity for presence. Uh, that's very important. And entity specific help. And you know, go you go go all out, present yourself, really ask what you're looking for, what you'd like. If if you can't get all in one, do another invocation and add the desires you have there for entity, okay? So, a bit about this entity, like I mentioned now, his energy is very dark. Um, I wouldn't say very dark, but it, it's a darker kind of angelic energy, which is extremely powerful and, um, and versatile. So, some of the offerings that you would like to put out there for him, keep it simple, guys. Um, offer like a bowl of juniper berries, uh, and again, you place it wherever you like. Juniper berries, honey, water, um, chocolates, that, that's also acceptable. Um, so if you start to sense his presence, right, if you, like most of the time, you will sense his presence behind you. That's just his, his persona. I would present himself. You'll feel an energy behind you. Um, if you get a glimpse, oddly enough, it'll be something dark. I'm not talking monstrous or what we perceive as monstrous, right? But like a dark, like dark cloth, dark clothing, black clothing. You'll get that type of feel. But it's still the archangel, okay? So I'm just to so... Um, working with him is, is extremely beneficial, right? And like I've said before, the more time we spend with an entity, the more we start to mirror their strengths and characteristics. So that's us a year carefully about each one's characteristics and strengths. And then it's up to you and up to how you maintain that relationship. I can't stress that enough. That is super important. Okay. He, he's, he's an obstacle remover. He will help you through life like a big brother. Um, he will truly optimize and help you harness your skills and talent, especially the skills and talent that he knows, because he's on a higher plane, that is extremely beneficial 
to you and your true path you should be walking. So if you work on that with him, it will come out so much stronger and so much brighter and so much easier for you to walk. Yes, he will definitely help remove obstacles from your life, be it people, like person, uh, ailments, sicknesses, anxiety, stress, depression, whatever the case is. If it's an obstacle to you and you've called upon him and you have him next to you, behind you and for you, he will remove these obstacles for you. Here's the condition and catch though. Do not sit on your ass and cry about it and beg for it. Then he won't help. Remember I told you his energy is dark. If he comes forth and he helps, you got to do the walking though. But he will, as long as you are walking, you will remove that obstacle, that depression, that person, that, that anxiety, that job issue, that heartache. Um, he will help you remove any and all obstacles as long as you're walking towards a very clear goal. And you can make your goal clear to him in the petition. I want to be there. I want to feel this. I want to experience this. So you walk in that direction towards that goal, that path, very clearly and, and it's on knowing he's with you. And in doing so, you will remove any and all obstacles in your way pertaining to getting to that specific destination, whether it's a physical destination or an emotional or mental destination. Guys, I hope it makes sense. So in other words, if you're looking for an extremely big, strong, encouraging big brother will help you get to where you need to be and feel what you desire to feel as long as you're willing to walk your path he will get you there guys be blessed be good until next time